Mike, look at the tracks of those clams on the left-hand side. Yeah. What, what, is, what causes them to I think, do that? I think that's a ridge as well. I think those are like sort of steps in the mud. I don't think that's just a random pattern. I think, I think there's actually relief there, like steps. Oh, I think they're okay. again along the ridge, but I can't quite tell. I could be wrong. Science, uh, this is uh, the lounge. Yes. Um, we're hoping you can maybe pause for a bit and zoom in on the white fuzzy mat and uh, just to kind of get a sense of what it is, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay, guys, can we zoom in on the white fuzzies? White fuzzies on the clams. So we're kind of geeking out on this because it's a <laughs> solid microbial mat, and you can see the little you see the little holes sticking out. Those yeah, are the clam yeah. siphons. So oh. they're siphoning through the mat. Wow. Yep. Is that not normal? Um, it's just impressive. It's just because okay, cool. there's so many of them. Yeah, you know, look. I mean, through my eyes, what I see is a clam that requires oxygen to breathe, and these microbes are very good at sucking down the oxygen. Oh, yeah. But because they have siphons, they can um, stick those out and circulate water through pretty quickly and get but the oxygen they need. But they clearly don't require a lot of oxygen, just a very teeny bit. But what's cool about clams is they have a, a, a molecule like our hemoglobin that binds oxygen really, really well. So they can actually strip it out of water and concentrate it. That's sulfide. Yikes. That, Looks that like may tar. Be a, well, what that may they? be a spot of too much sulfide for the clams to survive. What are the tiny white circles in the middle? Not the clam-looking um, bits, but the even smaller circles. It's a good question. Like the little feckly-looking things. Hmm. Very tiny clams are very large bacteria. That's a joke. <laughs> it's not some, something like a geologist would say. <laughs> <laughs> I liked all of our geology jokes with Ellen. <laughs> oh, it's the large kind of couscous. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Tapioca. No, you didn't. <laughs> what if they're like little eggs of some sort? Yeah. That'd be cute. Yeah, I can't really focus on but them they, either. They're there's not much to be living on the sulfide like that, I don't think. That's and, true. And the oxygen is down to like 2.3 now. 2.3? Oh, I said 2.4. I was close. So we are in a methane seep area off of Point Doom. 729 meters. This, this is a bacterial mat which indicates that there's a methane seep here. Looks like a lot of different kinds of clams, too. I think, I think there's, there's only two. Yeah, there's really? two types, vesicomyid and leucinid Yeah, it looks clams. like there's bigger, whiter ones and smaller, purplish ones. Yeah. I don't know which is which. Mike, do you think those are old chimneys? I really do. And I wonder if we should like try to break off a piece. Can we? Ooh, let's do that. Um, is Peter Lisa in the lounge? If you're there, I feel like it's a Ouija board. If you're <laughs> there. <laughs> you should have seen the, uh, Jamie's face was like, yes, yes, let's grab one piece. Yes, please, please. <laughs> Can we if, hold the ship here? It's if holding. you are there, Peter and Lisa. It's in hold position already. Give us a sign. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, so I'm, do you see these spires that have the bacteria on them? Oh, we've been watching, yep. So this one in front of us is fairly thin. I was wondering if we should break a piece off because I'm wondering if there's some sort of hydrothermal deposit. You guys should try and deposit. land on top of that. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Let's do it. Cool. I mean, it could be a carbonate mound. Um, how, uh, let me talk with Lisa for a second. Sure. The look, spirits look have these. answered. So in the meantime, you look can at this, like, mud ridge. That's interesting. <laughs> that, is, that is crazy. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm on SPL, so for our viewers at home, you can see the ring of clams around the base of these features, which may be carbonate um, from the uh, microbial activity. Cool. So, so, so do we grab, grab it? Piece? it or not? <laughs> so break that off. I am impressed with how in sync we all were on that like, one. Well, tell us if we can sample it. So guys, this is a pretty cool feature, and it's neat to see um, okay. uh, this kind of vertical relief coming out of a seep. And can you go ahead and um, drop it down just a shade near the base, please? So it looks hard, right? Oh. Kind of? Oh. Nope, doesn't hard. look very hard at all. Wow, <laughs> that's not even a rock, I don't think. Yeah. yeah, so it looks like it's just sediment. It's probably starting to get consolidated. Yeah. Well, now that we've disrupted it, why don't you go ahead and keep closing the jaws and see if there is anything hard in the middle? All right. Wow. That was exciting. It was, like a, it was like a termite mound or something. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, can you pick it up like that? Oh, no. 
Wow. It's just like sheets of bacteria on, t on that loose sediment. Wow. Okay, that's nice. Stand by for a second. Um, to the pilots, do you think you can fit that in one of the little bio boxes? Yeah, is there anything in the front bio box? No. Can we can we try one of the smaller try side small bio boxes? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Very well, thank you. Thanks, Pete. Thank you.